Please note, the following podcast is a discussion of a service that is only available in the United States. Enjoy. Episode 31, Taxi Magic. This is Chris Grabowski, and I wanted to discuss my impressions of a service called Taxi Magic. With this service, you can book cabs online in multiple cities if your city is supported. Recently, my city has been supported, so I took it for a test yesterday. What you do is you go to www.taximagic.com and you create an account. You give them your credit card information and your name and all that, you know, all the standard stuff. Create a username and a password. Give them your mobile number. Then you can log in and book your cabs on the website or you can book them using an iPhone app called Taxi Magic. I don't know if Android is supported. I do know that iPhone or iOS is supported and it is very accessible. Now, I'm not going to really demonstrate it, but when you launch the app, on the main screen, there are two book buttons. The first book button, you can use your iPhone to book the ride, and the second book button actually calls the cab service. I booked my first ride on the website uh, 24 hours before the cab was supposed to arrive. 14 hours before the cab arrived, I received an email notifying me that that the cab will be picking me up at the time I had designated. In the morning, I received a text message on my phone telling me when the cab was dispatched, the cab driver's name, the cab number, and how far away the cab was from my current position. When I open the app, there's a refresh button, and you can refresh the screen and find out where in proximity the cab is to your current location. So you can watch it get closer. It'll give you uh, the distance, say, six miles or five miles or four miles, and and just keep going down until the cab arrives. You have to refresh that. It's not real time, which is fine because it's not uh, eating the the GPS, uh, you know, the battery of your phone because of having the GPS receiver on. So when the cab arrived, the first thing I noticed was the meter actually spoke. It said something like meter on or meter started. That wasn't from the iPhone. It was from the front seat of the cab, which was really nice so that you knew when the meter was started. When we got to the destination and the cab driver turned off the meter, it said meter stopped. The only thing it didn't do was announce the price. So you had to ask the cab driver for the price, which is fine. The next thing, within the Taxi Magic app, there was a pay button. So I, after I asked the driver how much it was, I hit the pay button. Then there was an edit box where I typed in the amount. So say the cab ride was eighteen fifty, and I wanted to give him a $2 tip. I would have typed in 20.50, press send. And then the app says, confirmation, are you sure you want to send a payment of? And you answer yes. So you click the yes button. Then the next thing I noticed was a text-to-speech voice coming from the front of the cab that said, uh, taxi magic payment received for, and it gave the dollar amount, and it told the cab driver to see the, see the cashier or whatever. But that was a confirmation for me to let me know that they received my payment. Now on the return trip, I went outside and I opened up the Taxi Magic app and I clicked the book button and it automatically filled in my current address. It must have assumed that that was where I wanted to start from, which was fine. So then I just clicked the book button and it probably wasn't a busy day. So within Oh, I would say within five minutes of me clicking the book button, I got my notification that told me that the cab has been dispatched and how far away it was. This time it was 1.5 miles away. 
So when I got into the cab, I was talking to the cab driver and he goes, oh, you're using taxi magic. And then we got into a discussion on how it worked as far as the cab company was concerned. And I found that pretty fascinating. One thing he was telling me is there is no dispatcher. There are people in the office taking your reservations if you were to call them. And all they do is plug it into the computer. When they plug it into the computer, the computer searches out from your address, say 1.5 miles or 2 miles or whatever, looks for a cab that is waiting for a fare. And if it finds one, it sends the, the information to that cab and they come and get you. So if it doesn't find one, it continues to go out further and further and further until it finds a cab to dispatch you. Not too long after I came home, the Taxi Magic service automatically emailed me a receipt of my trips. I actually had two receipts, one for each trip, the first trip and the second trip. They were both PDF attachments. And the the beauty of this is you can use these, say you have to submit expenses for your company. So if you're taking a cab to a place that you are going to submit the cab ride to your company to be reimbursed, you could submit that receipt to them. You don't have to ask the cab driver for a receipt, have them fill it out or whatever. The receipt will be waiting for you in your email inbox. In conclusion, I would have to say the ability to have that information on your phone, the ability to pay for a cab with the credit card. You're not handing your credit card information over to anybody. Your credit card actually stays in your wallet. The the transaction is done by Taxi Magic. It is well worth the service. One thing I will add is that Taxi Magic adds an additional dollar fifty per ride onto the fare. So say for example the fare is twenty dollars. You know, you you authorize a payment for twenty dollars, Taxi Magic's going to automatically append a buck and a half onto that. For me, having all the services that I have previously explained is well worth the money. Well I hope you have enjoyed this not really demonstration, but impressions of the Taxi Magic service. I'm going to call it a service because the, the app is just part of the service. I also wanted to mention that the Mystic Place podcast has a new feedback line and that, along with other contact information, follows. Hi there. My name is Joey. And my name is Kimberly. Thanks for listening to the Mystic Place blog and podcast. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. Joey. Yes, Kimberly. It is my turn to talk. Okay. Thanks, Joey. No problem. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to send an email to mysticplacepodcast at gmail.com or leave a voice message at 864. Mystic 4 that is 8646978424 or follow him on Twitter at cgrabo73. You can visit the blog at www.mysticplace.info. Don't forget to check out the Mystic Place community at www.mysticplacecommunity.info. Have a nice day. Take care.